morning. This is another Relax and Paint. And today I'm painting on glass. And I have a cute little packet with all kinds of designs that um, I have created. And oops, and there's one of the designs that is pumpkins with a sunflower. I have, I don't know if this is going to cooperate. I might have to show you um, down here when I'm, I have a gnome pulling a cupcake that's fall. And I have these cute little um, wagon of gnomes um, and it's Harvest Joy. It's got honey dripping from the honey beehive. Can you all see? Well, anyway, there's a packet of different drawings. And today I wanted to just paint one of these with you and put it on glass. And let me see if I can edit this so it comes up right for me. Um, so they're drawings that I've created. It's a little packet that's got them in there. And it has been very popular. It's still downloading, but I'm going to go ahead and get started. And then I'll show you um, what it's going to look like. But good morning. I hope you're having a wonderful week. And well, don't forget to check out Friday's practice. Um, yeah, practice strokes, because if you're out there and you're painting with me today and you're liking it, but you just wish that you knew a little bit more, it's going to help you from starting at the beginning, how to use the tools, how to do the strokes and how, how to make things happen so you feel more successful. So when I started practice strokes after Relax and Paint, because so many people said, um, help me, ma'am. All right. So I'm excited to paint on glass with you, show you what glass will, how easy it is to paint glass. I go to Dollar Tree, many, many glass bases and um, wine glasses and um, oil bottles. There's all kinds of wonderful things to paint at Dollar Tree. I even have wood pieces that I create and show you many times. So if you stick with me, I'll show you the tricks. We're using a multi-surface paint today instead of an enamel paint. We have new enamel colors. I just wanted to share you a whole set of new enamel colors. You can get all those on my onestroke.com site. You can also pick up all the brushes and tools that we're showing you. Okay. So I put out some colors to get ready. And I hope that this is a fun um, um, aspect of painting for you. I think you will enjoy the, you don't have to base close services. And you can just do an inexpensive gift and give it away or sell them and take orders and enjoy your time. I'd like to give them to my nail tech and my hairdresser. And then everybody around says, oh my gosh, can we buy those from you? So that's how I used to do. And um, it's really fun. So let me, I've got this to finally download so I can show you. Okay, done. All right. So. I am going to turn the camera around and let's get started. All right. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you that there's all kinds of these little drawings I did. And we might not put all the fall leaves at the bottom, but we are going to do some pumpkins with a tall sunflower behind it. And just to let you see, uh, there's a cupcake. He's pulling the wagon. That's that there's four designs I'm thinking. Yeah, this is the beehive hanging with all the honeybees around it. And there's the wagon. So it's just a fun little uh, project that you could do. Okay. Now I am going to start with this piece of glass. Here's some colors. All right, so I have burnt sienna, Pueblo, real brown, and some daffodil yellow. See, I'm not really doing orange right now. I want to get some other colors. I have wicker white, and then I have some teal and citrus and sap, and put out a little bit of licorice for maybe the sunflower center. We'll see how we're going to do. All right. And I'm going to just create this with you as we go. Now you can cut the pattern and put it inside, shrink it or whatever. I'm going to go right on here and let's do the back pumpkin. So I'm going to pick up with my 16 flat and I want you to see how I'm picking up this color. I'm doing mostly Pueblo and a little bit of yellow. All right. 
So this one's going to kind of be tall. Now, the key is that you can bake these in the oven afterwards for 30 minutes. And then is dishwasher safe on the top rack of the dishwasher? But usually I say if you hand wash, I mean hand paint, you should hand wash. So I want you to see I've done a, a little C on this side. And I've got to lay a lot of paint. Don't do this then. See how much paint I'm picking up? Lots of paint. See? Lots of paint. All right. So, guys, this is a great day to start painting some of your fall. Run to your local Dollar Tree. Pick up some fun pieces. And see, see I've got a ridge there. That ridge is nice. Okay, so I'm going to lay the brush down. All right. And I did have a few more sections in here. All right, so I like to at least do one more. Now watch how I'm going to do this one. I'm going to come down sideways, scoop up, and come on this side. Okay, now I've got to come get back down over here with some yellow. All right, I'm going to brush it down. And down here is going to be covered anyway, but I want you to see the sections, okay? So I'm going to wipe this off, and I'm going to grab some white. See the white? And just put a glue on top. All right, just a little bit. See how I laid that on there? Okay, so... So there's a lot of pumpkins that are white these days. So I'm going to come over here and kind of do a white-ish pumpkin. And it's really wide. Now on my design, I do have leaves at the bottom. But we really don't have room on this one for leaves on the bottom. So this has a little bit of a yellowish green tint to it. All right, but what I want to do now that I've got this white, I'm going to wash that brush and I'm going to take the teal and the white. You see, I picked up teal and white. And on this one, I'm going to come right here. One thing I can do to show you is I can take and I'm going to put one right here so I can wipe off some of that. I can come right here and wipe, wipe, off, wipe off, sorry, a little bit of this so I don't get it yellow like I got the other one. See how that one has some yellow in it, which is fine, but I'm just going to take off. It's easier to paint it and take it off later. Okay. All right. So let's do teal. All right. So we're going to have a lot of teal and just a little bit of white. All right, so what happens on this one is I want to see the back of the pumpkin because what I'm going to do is have the stem come in the middle and side. So these stems are going to be on top and this stem is going to be right inside here. So I'm going to pick out more teal. See, lots of teal. A little bit here and a little bit there. So see how, see how right in here, the stem's gonna come right down in here. Let's do it again. That's the beauty of one stroke, and especially on glass, is that we can keep coming in here and restroking, restroke. And then the last little stroke is scooping up. Okay. So it's kind of fun. You can set up a whole bunch of uh, glass pieces and paint them all at the same time. And then by the time you get back to this one, it will be set and a little bit drier and easier to stroke. Okay. I'm just pulling up a smaller brush so that I can stroke and clean up. I don't like this one right here. 
Like I said, the beauty of one stroke painting is pick up paint and stroke it again. Okay. I want this to be a really light stroke. When you're doing this, you're just laying it on like a feather, really light. All right, I'll put a little bit of white here. And let's wash this. Let me get that blue back too out of there. And put a little bit more white over here. Okay. Let's go and bring some white up from the middle here. I'll put this down and bring you over closer. <laughs> so not up in the air, trying to balance it. Okay. There we go. So we've got, I can let that dry out a little bit more later if I want to. Okay. So what I did do is I came in here with some stems. All right. So my stem here, can you see the stem right here is going to be right in the middle. Okay. And then the stem over here, we're going to go from section. Now watch this. We're going to go from here to here to here all the way around. And then we come up. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry for a minute because I'm going to come up with a liner brush and show you some strokes. Okay, now what looks really good on this is that we can come in here with some metallic gold and just really make the, a pretty look. Okay, so now you can live it like this. I can come in here. Where's my gold? Right here. We can use some treasure gold. Treasure gold's wonderful, sticks on the glass really well. All right, then I'm gonna come in here and make a little curl. You see, it is metallic. All right, and right in here, okay, now this one, I'm going to bring, this is just my two script liner, and I'll tell you the name of this gold, it's treasure gold, but it's a different color than I normally use, see the streaks that I'm doing, okay. All right, so I can then come back in here with a little bit of burn amber so it looks better. And this one, all right, look, this is a beauty. You can just wipe it off. And so I'm going to bring burn amber and streak through the gold. Let's get some burn amber, streak through the gold. And I like to make it a little bit different okay this one can come around and back down all right so you can stop right then it's kind of fun and this is treasure gold this is called mayan gold okay is that fun so far all right so now i'm going to get my angle brush and i'm going to come in here with teal and citrus green you dampen your brush first, lay it on the paper towel, and then you come in here and pick up paint. Now I'm gonna come right in back here. And you could do this before your pumpkins, but it kind of helps me see where I wanna put them, right? So then this is what I'm gonna do. Now I can use, this is when you're doing an angle brush, that's the toe, that's the heel. I'm gonna use the heel to show, to make the wiggles, all right? Let's show you here. I'm gonna pick up paint again, because I need lots of paint. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle down. So see that teal's in the middle of the leaf, and these lessons for these leaves are right on practice strokes, so go check them out, all right? All right, so I'm gonna come right here, 
and do another one. Okay, and then I can pull the stem back in there. Now we're gonna put a sunflower up here, but right now is a good time to come down here. And I'm not gonna, I can put a little bit of the fall leaf colors in here. Okay, so look, it's going in and out, in and out. All right. Let's come here again on this side. Let's come over here so it's not blurry. All right, more like a maple leaf. All right, but we can come in here and add some rusty colors with these colors. Can you see that? Watch this. This is the Pueblo with both the citrus and teal colors. I can come right here. So look what I did. I just pushed down and wiggled the whole brush and pull a stem up. Okay. We have some burnt sienna and some Pueblo. And it's a little blurry. Put those darker leaves down there, which will be nice because it'll match the sunflower. Let's put a little bit of yellow. And we're going to come right in here and pull the stem up. Okay. So just to pull this in together, I think I'm going to come right along here and add a little bit of that Pueblo to the leaf. I think that'll make it nice. And this one's going to be covered a little bit by the uh, sunflower. Are you liking it? And all you have to do is touch little bits of gold on these leaves, and it will give you an even richer look. Okay, so I'm going to take my medium scruffy, all right? And the scruffy brush is a brush I created years ago. I'm going to then take, let's see, what about a 12? Or we can go down to our, our value pack brushes, which are my students' brushes. And they've got the dark green handle. All my brushes, uh, the lavender set is the... Um, Lavender set is my signature brushes. They're the best brushes and the best handles. But this value pack is a killer set of brushes. And we sell many, many of those brushes because they're so they do exactly what we want them to do. All right. So to do the sunflower, I'm going to put some rust looking. You can use Pueblo. Oh, I'm not in front of you. Dry brush, dry scruffy brush. We're going to pick up maybe Pueblo and Burn Umber, and we can pick up a teeny bit of licorice. Not very much, or it'll take over your whole painting. Okay, so right here, without messing up anything, I'm going to come right up here a little bit higher, and I'm going to pounce up and under. Okay, so the darker colors are at the bottom. The brighter color, I mean, the lighter colors at the top. So now look what we're going to do. I'm going to come in here and get Pueblo and Daffodil. And I'm going to grab the wet paint, push down, and stand up. And these are like one-stroke leaves. Can you see that? So if you use a 12, they would be bigger. I usually use a 12. But this is a small vase. See, that got too much black licorice. So I got to go back over it. But you want some of those streaks. See how pretty those streaks are in there? And compared to other techniques, what this does, it gives you blending, shading, highlighting in every stroke. So you can paint quicker, which is nice if you're selling or wanting to make a gift for a bunch of people or decorating for an event. See, I can come right back over those and restroke. See how fun that is? All right, we'll pick up some more yellow. 
All right, isn't that nice? So bright vivid colors. We want lots of paint. We want ridges. It makes it pretty. Then we're going to come in here. Oops, with my scruffy brush again. And I repounce. Repounce right in here to make sure that I clean up and I haven't messed up the center shape by all the petals we put in there. Are y'all liking that? It makes it really fun. So now I'm going to get just a little bit of yellow. See the daffodil yellow? And I'm going to come here and I'm going to tap the crescent moon just a little bit. I have a smaller brush, scruffy brush, that you can use if you're worried. Okay. But so let's stand up and let's look at our pretty little piece. So look. This is the one I drew. Oops, excuse me. This is the design I drew. See how shiny the paint is? That's how shiny it is when it dries. It's wonderful. Now I'm going to just touch a few of these spots with the gold. And I think you're going to love um, what that does. Oh, we better use the same gold. All right, because it makes sense. All right, I like to just use the lid on this instead of pouring it out to save my paint. And I'm going to use a little one round brush and I'm going to come right in here and I'm going to dot, 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 dot little bits of the metallic along there at the top. Oh, let's get you over this. Okay, so let's be still. All right, it's a little blurry. Let me bring out the yellow. Let's put some daffodil yellow all along here. Okay, a little bit. It's a little blurry. Let's see if we can get it clear. It's because all the shiny with the glass. All right, but look here, I can put some metallic. Little dots of metallic along there. All right, I can also wash this brush and pick up some edges of metallic, lay it on the here, and I can come in here and just add little bits along the leaf edge. Can you see a little bits of metallic in there? When it's all dry is when you should do this, and then it would have a little shiny metallic. So hopefully when I take the picture, you'll see the metallic in here. All right, just little bits. Uh, a little bit of that metallic and the pumpkins. A little bit of your edges. But this really needs to be dry. And by me pushing down, it will take away from, it might lift up color. All right, so look, I put a little bit on these leaves. And it just gives it an elegant look, guys. It really adds to your painting. All right. All right. Sign it, enjoy it, and share it. So relax and paint and have a good time doing it. And listen, the best part about glass, if you don't like what it looks like, then all you do is wipe it off and paint again. So it's a good practice place. All right, right there on glass. Isn't that fun? All right, I sell these all the time and I would sell these for 25 or more a piece and they sold so well. And it one stroke painting is quick. You see how quick that was. Okay, so thank you for being on this morning. Be sure to go learn some of those strokes more on sunflowers and more on those leaves over at Practice Strokes. Okay, see you next time.